In the realm of the DC Universe, an intriguing tapestry of reboots and fresh visions is unfolding, intertwining the legacy of Christopher Nolan's Batman with ambitious plans from James Gunn and Peter Safran. While the spotlight gleams on upcoming projects like Superman Legacy, The Authority, Swamp Thing, Creature Commandos, Waller Lanterns, Booster Gold, and Paradise Lost, the anticipation for what lies ahead is palpable. Among these ventures, the brave and the bold stands out, drawing inspiration from Grant Morrison's acclaimed comic series to introduce Batman and Damon Wayne as Robin in a narrative ripe with innovation. Christopher Nolan's foray into the Batman mythos remains a landmark in superhero cinema, sparking curiosity about the hypothetical fourth installment featuring Christian Bale as the caped crusader. Batman's cinematic odyssey traces back to the serials of the 1940s and the iconic 1960s TV series adaptation. Tim Burton's Batman ushered in a new era of cinematic reverence, followed by Batman Returns in 1992. However, the franchise faced tumult with Joel Schumacher's ventures, Batman Forever, and the infamous Batman and Robin. Nolan's reinvention began with Batman Begins in 2005, delving into the character's origins and redefining the genre's standards. The success of the trilogy's subsequent installments, notably The Dark Knight, elevated Batman to new heights of cinematic glory. Yet, Nolan's restrained approach to Batman's sidekick, Robin, hinted at the character's presence without adhering to the traditional red spandex or iconic catchphrases. In The Dark Knight Rises, Bale's Batman embodies the essence of heroism, making a poignant sacrifice to save Gotham. The film's denouement, depicting Bruce Wayne's retirement and his newfound contentment with Selina Kyle, resonates with a sense of closure. However, the emergence of John Blake as a potential successor ignites speculation about the future of Gotham's protector. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's portrayal hints at a seamless transition into the role of Batman, signaling a narrative continuum beyond Nolan's trilogy. The thematic richness of Nolan's trilogy, coupled with Bale's commitment to a cohesive vision, precluded the emergence of a fourth installment within the same universe. Instead, Ben Affleck and Robert Pattinson assumed the mantle in separate cinematic universes, exploring distinct facets of Batman's persona. Nolan's departure paved the way for a multiverse approach, where diverse interpretations of Batman converge, offering endless narrative possibilities. The multiverse concept not only revitalizes beloved characters, but also fosters creative storytelling avenues, inviting Christian Bale's Batman to traverse new dimensions alongside other incarnations. In the tapestry of the multiverse, the ending of The Dark Knight Rises remains a testament to Batman's enduring legacy, leaving audiences to ponder his ultimate fate. Whether in retirement or resurgence, Batman's presence resonates across myriad realities ensuring his immortal imprint on cinematic lore. As the DC Universe continues to evolve, the prospect of Bale's return as Batman within the multiverse framework tantalizes both filmmakers and audiences alike, promising a journey into uncharted narrative territories where the Dark Knight's legend endures and thrives. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Batman's cinematic saga, where the boundaries of reality blur and the multiverse beckons with boundless intrigue and possibility. Until next time, may the spirit of Gotham's guardian illuminate our path, guiding us through the shadows of imagination and wonder. Hold me close till I get out